In the previous video you made the XZ plate. In this video you will put the timing belt onto the X axis. Clear the holes in the X carriage by punching through the support layer with a screwdriver. You can mount the teeth onto the X carriage either before or after you put it on the X bridge. Here we're showing the X bridge unmounted from the Z unit. Pre-mount two M3 lock nuts into the X carriage by pulling them in with an M3 screw. Slide in the belt holder and mount it with two M3 times 10 screws. Prepare the idler by putting two belt guiding discs and a ball bearing onto an M4 times 10 screw. Make sure to keep the shiny side of the belt guiding discs on the outside. Take the remaining timing belt, which is 84.6cm long. Lead the timing belt through the hole on the right side of the X bridge and put it around the idler bearing. Then slot the idler unit into the right end of the X bridge. Slide one side of the timing belt into the teeth of the X carriage. Put the timing belt around the motor pulley to complete its path. Make sure the motor is positioned as far inside as possible. Push the other end of the timing belt into the belt holder. Push the motor outwards to tension the belt and secure its position by fixing the screws. Check the tension of the belt. If the belt is moving up and down while moving the X carriage, it is too loose. If the belt makes a sound like a guitar string, it's too tight. Like this, it's just right. Great, you just finished the XZ unit. In the next section, you will join the two units together and wire it all up.